I'm back with another video showing you a little bit about what I do. So this time I'm doing perla beads. I also do a bunch of what I refer to as real beading with straining and just lots of different si types, types and sizes. But I tried my hand at perla beads and I do like it. So this is one of my favorites. This is a Hawaiian flower. And it's actually their hibiscus, I believe. I can't really say it. I'm not gonna not gonna pretend that I can. But this one's a magnet. Uh, most of the ones I made are magnets. I believe I made a keychain once, but I think I might have given that one away. But if 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 I did, it's here somewhere. We would get to it. <laughs> This one was my very first one. It's just a heart with a rainbow drip. This one's also a magnet. I'm very fond of most of my perla bead things. I don't think I'd be willing to sell the originers, but I'd definitely be willing to remake them. I love that I use the clear perla beads for the gumball machine for the glass on it rather than just white. I'm also currently working on a 3D potted piranha plant for Mario, for my boyfriend, that involves a pot and perla beads. I would be posting that one on Crafty Amino when it's finished. So if you would like to follow me there to find out what it would look like. This one isn't anything really. Um, I think I put a magnet on it, but I recently moved so I haven't really had a chance to get to it yet. Um, this one's part of her collection. This one's a relish. I also have ketchup and mustard in. And I was gonna do an empty one with a clear bottle. Um, with a clear beads, I mean. This one's a donut. This one didn't come out flat though. Not quite sure why. This one's also one of my favorites. It's Mulan's head. I love Mulan and I I really don't like how the soul litter Mulan stuff compared to all the other Disney stars. I was never really a, a Disney princesses. I was never really a, a Disney person, but I always loved Mulan. And her dress is just absolutely gorgeous in this design, but I only did up to the shoulders for this one. This one is a Mario mushroom. And this is a big one. We got a fox, he's so cute. If you're looking at any, if you're looking at this video for patterns of ideas, uh, just a tip would be if you're gonna make it into a magnet, do a few on here because you can't do one big one because it will show through on the gap. So I did a few small runs on the head and then the tail so it didn't break off when you're moving it. This one is one of my absolute favorites and my boyfriend's too. We love it. It comes in a pair. Don't have the second one on the top of the pyre here. Well, I should have planned that a little bit better, but um, this, just keep this in mind. Uh, this is a burnt marshmallow with a flame coming out and he's got a frowny face because, you know, he wants to be burnt. Then this was my second one that I did. It's a little blue uh, pooter, a little puppy. This is Wanda from the Fairly Odd Parents. They're making new episodes now, but it's been around for quite a while. Cosmo's here too. He's just somewhere in the pyre. I don't I did not make Timmy yet. We got the stack of pancakes. 
Ah, here's another mush um, marshmallow. I almost said mushroom. So he's smiling because he's just right. I love that set. This one was the one that I came up with. Could have turned out a little bit better. I might give it another go with um, the pepperoni. It was supposed to be a, a hot pizza, if you can't tell. Um, I didn't shape the pepperoni as well as I could have. Try or an error. This one is a little Starbucks-esque coffee cup. And this one, I gotta say, I did make a mistake. This one is milk, but I normally do my patterns backwards. So, this side looks a little bit better, because this was ideally going to be the front. And I forgot to spell milk backwards when I put it down on the pegboard. So, I ended up having to use what I thought would be the back for the front. I have a plan to make a juice one also, but haven't gotten around to it just yet. Stitch, another one of my favorite Disney movies that don't get enough merchandise out there. I have been seeing a lot more Stitch stuff lately, though. My boyfriend says that they might be making a new movie, and that's why there's a lot of stuff out. A little tomato slice. I just absolutely flipped when I saw the pattern for this one. And got a Game Boy. The fun thing about this one is it's glow in the dark. I use glow in the dark beads for this original Game Boy. You probably can't. Oh, you can see a little bit. All of these are also on my Crafty Amino page. Here's Cosmo. And I got an ice cream. And this one is like the Pizza Hut, but it's a Pop Tart Hut. Then I have a little penguin coaster. I love making coasters. I also make vinyl coasters with scenes and different sort of pictures. We'll get to that hall esque video eventually. That's a little penguin. I want to make a few colors of that one too. But as I said right now, all my Perla time is being taken up by um, the Mario Power um, Piranha Plant. It's a grapefruit. That's also a coaster. And the lime is a coaster. And then this was another one that fared a little bit because I tried to do it just from my head. It wasn't a pattern or anything. But it's supposed to be a pizza pie and I, I I did the black between them to mark like the pan didn't come out as well but still a coaster still can be used I got the lollipop and got a Mario uh, not Mario so I used to say Mario a uh, Pokemon power bar Then this is actually a tutorial from So Craftastic on here. It's a I did a watermelon one, but it's a um for your earbuds. They wind up in there and then hook into here. Little earbud holder. Then this I made before that video. It might look like I'm copying it, but I made this quite a while before that. This is a um Golden Oreo, or golden sandwich cookie. Not really a fan of chocolate, so I did a golden one. But this is not an earbud one. This is just a 3D thing. I was thinking about making it into a keychain, but I hadn't really decided yet. So I just left it for now. But it's not, not an earbud. It's just, just a 3D. And we got the ketchup to match with the mustard. And I made a tiny little sushi 
It kind of came out looking like their, um, what's he called, uh, Captain America crest, uh, sheared. But that's because, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I am vegan. So instead of doing the, the red in the center for like the crab or shrimp or whatever else would be in it, I, I normally do avocado cucumber rolls. So I try to do that and when you shrink it down, it, it came out like that. Not my best effort, I will say that. As I said before, this is fairly new to me. You see a lot more detail in my in my stringing beading. A little taco, and then I love these. They're such tiny little ice cream cones. I'm gonna make that into a pendant. Mustard. And I made a little hour. And then the other ice cream cone. And I made a tiny little pop tart. And a little pizza. And a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone. And then I show you a failed attempt. It's the last things in here. I was trying to make pearl or dice. That is also a so craftastic video, but I think I ironed them too down and I couldn't get them to clip together. So as I get a little more experience, I might give that a go again. But for now, I decided to just leave that. But that's all my pearl or bee creations. As I said, if you're interested in any of them, please contact me. I will put the information below. Um, a few of them I'd be willing to sell their originers, but most of them I'd rather just make you a new one. That way also if you have any changes that you would like to make, I can make that for you without a problem. So I will put the email below. It's betaholic94 at outlook.com. And you can also check out my Crafty Amino page. And it's also Beataholic94, but I will put all the links down below. And I will be coming out with a new collection video fairly soon. See you then.